Good evening, everybody. So today we have uh, Syed Sabi Haida from uh, Pakistan who will be joining us as a speaker for Interact for uh, Microsoft EMS Plus Security. So to talk about Syed, he is a Microsoft certified trainer as well as one of the uh, well-known speakers on the Microsoft community forums in Pakistan. In addition to that, he is a Microsoft Cloud as well as a security consultant, and he has close to seven plus years of experience. So, you know, all I had to ask him is that we want you to do a session for Bangalore chapter and he was so kind enough to come forward and do this session for us. So with no further ado, I'm going to give it back to uh, Syed. So Syed, it's all yours now. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, good evening. And uh, I'm Syed Sabi Heather and uh, I'm from Pakistan and I'm Microsoft Certified Trainer and also Microsoft Community Speaker at uh, in Pakistan, also in in Middle East. So I'm working as a Microsoft Cloud and Security Consultant at uh, Tech Access Pakistan. It's actually one of the biggest IT firm uh, in Pakistan and uh, in Middle East as well. So we will uh, talk about the introduction to uh, Microsoft Solution, which is actually Microsoft Enterprise Mobility Suite. It's actually a solution for the security purposes for for different uh, organization uh, which is actually which has some concern related to the uh, security so uh, what actually the challenge uh, challenge which uh, we, uh, we are actually facing or the companies are facing right now in their environment like <clears throat> uh, related to the security concern First of all, I'll uh, talk about uh, the old environment. What was the? Uh, this is an old environment where uh, where your user devices, application, and data are sitting uh, on premises. There were some firewalls and like parameters where organization feels very, 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 very safe. So where you just go to office and access your data, whatever uh, you want, then then eventually the time has changed. And um, we have uh, like uh, so much application in there. Now we are in an era of lot of data with lot of complexity. So here we have different cloud applications where you can access and upload data from any device. Like there is no restriction here. So now you have to worry about your data being uploaded and downloaded. So information should have to be protected by itself, like wherever it travels around the globe or globally. So, so you know, everyone uh, has a mobile in his pocket. So mobility actually is a getting normal thing day by day. Like um, here you can see that we have uh, uh, some figures, like 52% uh, of the workers in 17 countries using three or more devices for work or 90% of the enterprise company using more than two mobile operating systems. So, and uh, eventually the 80% of the employees company admitted that they use non uh, approved uh, SaaS application or online application, cloud application during the job. So uh, here uh, we have uh, some uh, security management uh, where actually uh, it's an availability and you can see that uh, we have to protect these things uh, in 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 environments or in or the organization organization have very uh, sincere concern are related to the identities protection device protection application protection data protection and infrastructure like uh, network so organization needs to uh, needs the visibility related to that things like control and guidance of the all over the things or infrastructure so we have uh, something like uh, uh, what actually in the organization is running now like users and devices and applications and data like uh, it actually the thing is uh, the it uh, administrator don't know what type of applications uh, people are using in their environment like uh, they can be something like uh, uh, unapproved or non-approved application which is not approved by the some standard of the security concern so users actually uh, have devices and uh, on their devices they use application related to something like uh, if i say dropbox dropbox is something which is approved application and which is very uh, very renowned application like if i talk about uh, some uh, non-renowned application which is 
uh, actually not uh, non uh, trustworthy or something like not uh, trusted or uh, uh, trusted by or certified with the international security uh, standards so where uh, users just upload their data on that application which is actually a, a some loophole so here uh, we have a solution from the microsoft uh, which is the core back solution and uh, microsoft give the uh, security concern related to the Microsoft solution where organization have the ability to uh, minimize it. Okay, this is a uh, first thing uh, which is uh, you can see on uh, on your screen like Microsoft uh, Enterprise Mobility Suite or uh, we can say Microsoft uh, Enterprise Mobility Plus Security. It's actually a full fledged uh, business suite uh, in which we have uh, something like that. We have to we have control identity like access in the cloud like who is like uh, whose employee is accessing which type of application on the cloud and uh, given the identity driven security like uh, who is uh, uh, doing what are uh, what thing or products so uh, the next thing is mobile devices like uh, which type of application people are using in their mobile and what type of data they are uploading or downloading and uh, the other thing is product or information like uh, the confident uh, confidential information uh, the people are just uploading to the uh, non-approved uh, websites like uh, their SSN uh, social security number or or you can say like a national ID card uh, number or credit card number so it could be uh, just secure from that side or which lies uh, your desktop like uh, you can just uh, realize the desktop to the other computers like the other things here you will uh, see the uh, core part of the Microsoft uh, solution, uh, the security solution, which Microsoft actually give the uh, whole suite. In that suite, you can see the uh, we have uh, some application and uh, we have a business solution. Like uh, first thing, we have uh, Microsoft Intune, cloud application security, Azure information protection, advanced threat analytics, and uh, the least and uh, not the least thing, uh, the advanced threat protection. So I will describe the first thing first. Okay, uh, this is Intune. Actually, uh, it's uh, it's just a solution for enabling a secure mobility by delivering a set of tools that uh, let you manage your uh, diverse mobile environment in a secure and uh, just in a uh, unified way. So whether your people are using iOS, uh, Mac OS, Android, or Windows devices, whatever the OS is. Uh, in turn can uh, help you deliver productivity to uh, your uh, people across and points while keeping your data secure and everything done so the uh, another uh, two differentiator for uh, for us is that uh, we actually are born in cloud so people uh, mm, uh, actually because uh, microsoft intune is a cloud based it's lower cost and eliminate the need to plan purchase and maintain on prem hardware and uh, infrastructure so Intune is always update wherever uh, it is the uh, you don't have to worry about the updates and uh, scale with the ease as you need work so uh, we have uh, something like uh, uh, you can see that uh, we have uh, uh, two type of Intune solutions uh, one thing is uh, uh, on premises and uh, uh, second thing is online which is actually the uh, purely cloud based the first thing is actually uh, the hybrid or the on prem uh, we have a solution on prem is the system center configuration manager uh, uh, many of uh, you uh, know that uh, actually it's also a product of microsoft uh, for the automation of the os and something like that so you have to implement that thing uh, on premises if you want to uh, do it uh, from the on prem and it will be uh, just integrated with the uh, cloud-based Intune and uh, it will work like both in turn. So the other thing is uh, uh, we have a solution for cloud. We have uh, Microsoft Intune, which is uh, which is actually purely be based on cloud. So you can see, you can uh, do anything, whatever uh, your, uh, your actual uh, the thing is. So the thing is you, uh, you just uh, push some policies to the, um, to different employees like if i say that uh, if you want if it manager or it administrator want 
that uh, their employee uh, should not be able to connect to the other internet devices uh, except the uh, organization internet so it can be uh, the, this type of policy can be pushed from the internet so uh, this just uh, push it to the uh, different users or employees whatever uh, you want or wherever you want so the user will not be able to connect any other devices uh, uh, except the uh, the thing the organization internet so you can just push, push that policies from the internet here you can uh, you can see that uh, we have also a risk based conditional access like you can put some conditional access that uh, if uh, like uh, if i say that the uh, this uh, the specific traffic from that specific ip will be able to open that uh, like if i say office is 5 so no one will be able to uh, uh, open the office is 5 uh, except that uh, trusted ip uh, site so you can uh, just put put that policy also so IP ranges, and you can also do that from the location. Like, like if I, I if I say that I'm sitting in the Lahore, Pakistan, and I, if I want to open the Office file, so I will not be able to uh, open that file if I just put the put the location for the uh, for uh, opening the file. So you can do that. Everything is under uh, under uh, under the monitoring or under the IT management. So you can do everything whatever you want. So first of all, you have to implement the solution of the Microsoft Intune. Then you will be able to do anything like push the policies, push, uh, make the condition accesses from wherever you want. So you can uh, minimize the risk of the data leakage. So here you can see that uh, like uh, this is uh, Microsoft. Uh, as I told you before, that uh, you have uh, uh, both solutions: the on-prem and uh, the online solution but the uh, people uh, actually who have uh, some concern related to their identities so they don't want to uh, just uh, migrate their identities to the cloud so they actually want that uh, their uh, they want their uh, data to protect it like from the intune so they just put uh, put the uh, integration with the microsoft uh, systems and the configuration manager on prem so they can just uh, make something like uh, store these things so it can be like uh, both these things from the cloud and also from the uh, from uh, system center configuration manager on prem so uh, here uh, you can uh, you can see that uh, we have uh, another thing cloud application security it's actually another solution from the microsoft uh, cloud application security actually gives you deeper visibility to your organization application and help you to protect your company confidential data across uh, across your uh, cloud application so with the help of cloud application security tools uh, you can uh, just uh, lower the risk enforce uh, policies and uh, and also investigate uh, different uh, policies and actually eventually the you can stop the threats so you can uh, actually you can configure a policy in the cloud application security and uh, use it to protect everything in your uh, in your cloud environment. So the so these are the questions which needs to be answered. So organization needs the uh, needs the answer for all these questions. Like I have uh, I have uh, so many uh, SaaS application which I need to be monitored. Like I do on on premises. That is a concern from the organization. So how to prevent that uh, data loss and how can I uh, show that my employees are using secure application or data they are uh, sh sharing on any cloud application, like I told you before. So how can I show that the uh, user who is coming from IP and location that is not trusted? So how, how, how can uh, I just uh, make sure that the data of the employer is safe and will not be attacked by any attacker? So, so that why Microsoft has a solution which we which we call uh, Microsoft Cloud Application Security. So it helps you to um, discover the application, cloud application, and start controlling access and uh, just protect data from these applications. So this is the dashboard. You can see, like, uh, I will uh, I will see you in a moment, uh, uh, the uh, whole thing. So here, actually, what it provides, first of all, uh, use, uh, uh, we have uh, something like that. It will be discovered application running in your environment because visibility, you know, 
is the uh, first step when we want to protect something or data. So Microsoft uh, Cloud Application Security can discover around 15,000 different applications. So it can discover the thing. So it also gives you the risk uh, assessment and uh, risk ass assessment score, like uh, uh, on what, uh, how many standards they, uh, this application meet. And uh, Microsoft keep checking the risk assessment for the different applications for, uh, for, for the compliance. So it also gives you visibility, the users downloading and uploading massive amount of data in some transaction that uh, that actually may be indication of threat. So it also check uh, the anomalies if there is any unusual activity performed. So you can just control the access by condition, different condition access where you can restrict the IPs and location and whatever you want. So you can now protect your information you can create policies through uh, cloud application security portal, which is integrated with the uh, Azure, uh, Azure Information Protection, uh, which is uh, which I will tell you uh, in a moment. So where you can label your document according to the sensitivity of the document. So if the document is sensitive and uh, you have to, uh, you just have to uh, label it on the uh, and the Azure information protection with scan and classify and protect that document wherever it is and wherever uh, it travels uh, around the globe. So and uh, finally thing is uh, Microsoft detects the threats by uh, by making anomalies policies by using behavior analytics, cyber security attacks and uh, suspicious activities like Microsoft recalls everything uh, you do in uh, in the cloud application says so uh, whatever employees do in the application online application in the cloud application so uh, admin can see everything what are you doing what what you need to do so it is integrated with the microsoft azure directory uh, azure active directory like uh, we have uh, in the azure subscription so azure information protection condition access and and uh, security information and uh, you can see the uh, different event management you can do that so here is uh, microsoft uh, azure information protection from actually information protection approach your data will be all secure wherever the data will travel through uh, window information protection uh, and from azure information protection office 365 uh, dlp like data leakage pre prevention so uh, microsoft has a bundle approach for protection or uh, protection for your information which is called detect classify protect and uh, monitor we, we we actually say that dcp and so either information is in the device cloud or on premises like it will be protect from unmanaged devices Okay, uh, the first thing, you know, is to protect your data and uh, the visibility of the data. So first of, thing, uh, first of all, information protection gains visibility of your data, then, uh, then for some action, you can put some label to protect this secure information or permission or removal, whatever you want. So then you will be able to identify the policy violation or to assess the uh, threat and mitigate the So uh, you can protect uh, your data wherever uh, your data is on premises using Azure Information Protection Scanner or uh, Office 5 using DLP or for the application using CAS. So you can actually protect the data uh, from the Azure Information Protection, but you need to be uh, you but you need to have a license of the Azure Information Protection, which is actually if you uh, if you know uh, like uh, uh, Office 5 so. This is also a part of the Office 5 E5 plan, which is actually a, a latest and the most uh, uh, is most uh, highly rated uh, security plan. So in that plan, uh, you you will have this license. So you can actually create it uh, for a trial for 30 or 60 days, and uh, you can do it by that thing. <clears throat> 
So here uh, in the IO information production, you will have uh, some uh, already default uh, tags or uh, classifications where you can uh, just uh, put some classic classification on the on different uh, uh, files. Like I will have a like I have a uh, Windows uh, um, Microsoft Office, and uh, we have uh, uh, like I have a, a file of uh, Word. So if I want to protect it, so if like if i say uh, i have a file in that file i will have a ssm uh, social security number or uh, or if i say like i have a national identification card or something like credit card information so it could be just highly confidential so i just uh, put a tag of highly confidential that on that uh, file so it will be highly confidential and will travel every uh, uh, either it will be travel from uh, one place to another or wherever this is. It will not be decrypted or it will not uh, be opened by unauthorized person. Like I, if I say, I have a file, uh, I have a word file and, and uh, in that file, I have a credit card information for some employees. So if I just send that file and I was intended to file, uh, if I intended to send a file uh, like Ahmed, uh, if I want to send a, a file to Ahmed, then, uh, only Ahmed can uh, open that file from their credential, from uh, from uh, putting the credential of uh, of, him, uh, of him. And if uh, anyone uh, other than Ahmed will open that file, so it will not be opened or it will not be decrypted by the end user. So this is the protection of your data wherever you want. So if you want to, uh, if you want that your product your data will uh, be seen by some uh, many of the people or the publicly so you can put that uh, thing in a general and public so you can just put put a tag of general or public and share it wherever you want so it will be opened by every user <clears throat> so here is a, a label of the sensitivity uh, related so you can do it whatever you want uh, like uh, if i say uh, document law labeling we have a uh, thing like, as I told you, uh, if you if your file have some confidential details, so you just put the tag of highly confidential, highly confidential on that thing, uh, on that file. So this will not be a, able to decrypt by the other user. Or if you if you want uh, to just send that file to to the intended user, you can do it. You just send that thing, and the intended user will. The only intended user will have to open the file, uh, and the ex uh, except uh, other user, they cannot be uh, uh, they will not be able to open that file or decrypt file because I was intended to uh, send that file to the Amos and Amos just put the credential, uh, put uh, his credential, and that file will, will be decrypted or will be opened by him and uh, except other, it will not be opened by any other one else. So you can just label it well. You can uh, you just uh, you uh, don't only have the option of the uh, uh, your uh, files different files. You can also do it by uh, in uh, like emails. You will have a solution of AIP for the emails. Uh, like uh, you just put a put emails uh, and uh, you want to just protect your email and you want to just send it to the other people and you just want it to or you was uh, you actually were intended to send that email to some intended user so the only intended user will be able to open that file uh, or the email other will not be able to open that file so this is actually doing by the encryption method so uh, we just uh, do it uh, by the encryption and decryption method and the key uh, the key feature of this is to encrypt files wherever you want and uh, and send the thing where wherever you want no matter where actually it travels the whole globe the only intended user will be open other will uh, otherwise the other thing will not be uh, in the matter of fact so uh, in the area information production we have a, a mod module for uh, monitoring so i have uh, uh, like uh, Every user have the portal on, uh, in the on, uh, online portal for every user where you will uh, see that uh, you can monitor the document 
like uh, if i if i share as i told you if i share the document with you or with some other people so everything will be shown in the uh, in the portal where you will have uh, where you will just monitor the document where actually it, uh, it has been uh, revoked or or where actually the thing uh, you want to consider here to just make it access wherever this is be so if i say like if i just share it uh, to the people in the uh, in, in my community or in my organization so the other people will not be open that file as i told you so the the owner portal i have uh, i will have a owner portal where i will have access to things like uh, i can be able to revoke the access for that file for every user so i can do it on the monitoring or on the portal where you want so the uh, other thing is microsoft advanced threat analytics so uh, microsoft advanced uh, threat analytics is an actually on premises platform that uh, helps protect your enterprise from uh, multiple layer of uh, advanced threats and uh, uh, cyber attacks and insider threats so advanced threat analytics or we can say just uh, ata takes information from multiple data sources such as logs events uh, in your environment to learn the behavior of the user and other entities in the organization and uh, build a, a behavior profile about them so ata can receive events and logs from um, if i if you are already known like sign server uh, integration and uh, windows event forwarding in the uh, server and directly from the window event collector uh, if you want whatever so this is the whole thing uh, we say that uh, it's actually a advanced detection the behavior and analytics plus the detection of the advanced threat security risk which is shown in the figure so the next thing is uh, microsoft advanced threat protection uh, we uh, we say that ATP. So actually, ATP uh, is also um, like Office 5 has a solution to protect uh, protect your email files and um, online storage against them. So Office 5 uh, advanced threat ATP can help protect your mailboxes, your uh, your online storage, your uh, files and applications against new sophisticated attacks in real time. And uh, it offers actually a protection in uh, Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, uh, Visio, SharePoint, online, mm -hmm. and OneDrive for business, whatever the products of Microsoft offer. So by protecting against unsafe attachment and expanding protection against malicious links, it uh, it actually uh, the security feature of the uh, Microsoft Exchange protection to provide better uh, zero day potential. So we have a solution of uh, uh, like with uh, if if I say like with the safe attachment, you can pre uh, prevent malicious attachment from uh, impacting your uh, messaging environment. And uh, if I if their signatures are not known, like you don't know who uh, who is sending that mail, so all this suspicious content goes through a real time behavior malware unless it, uh, so that uh, uses machine learning technique to evaluate the content. So it is done by the Microsoft. Uh, actually atp which is online solution so so uh, the thing is like uh, unsafe attachments are, are detonation for the chamber before being sent to the recipient so the advantage of uh, is a malware free and uh, cleaner inbox with the better zero day attack protection which is actually microsoft offer so exchange online protection like provide protection against malicious links by Scanning content and uh, save links and expand on the protection of your environment. So while the content is being scanned, the URL are uh, uh, through the return and the URL are examined in real time at the time of user click them. So if so, a link is unsafe. The user is warned not to visit that site or informed that this site has been blocked or reporting is uh, the thing which you can do it. So this is the procedure you can see that like, if a sender just send an uh, email and uh, unknown sender just send an email and uh, on the Office 5 account or Exchange Online, 
so the procedure will be like uh, if this is a safe attachment it will be just uh, goes to the recipient or the uh, uh, receiver if it is not being uh, suspended by the user uh, and you can see that if uh, just office file scanner that put that file to the suspicious attachment so you can see that it will be just deleted or uh, just be by uh, safe uh, link redirect so user can be able to see the file so the uh, the risk of the phishing attacks will be minimized so this is actually the screenshot if uh, the user will just uh, uh, put that thing or uh, if the user just click on the link so you uh, you can see that the uh, the error message will be or the warning message will be in this one. so this website has a classified malicious or uh, the admin has the full control like uh, who is uh, sending or who is just receiving the email so you can so see everything like in the IT environment so if I just uh, show you okay uh, first of all I'll tell you that uh, here is the link uh, here is the prior, uh, free trial you will uh, just uh, make it uh, from the thing uh, like e5 plan microsoft office 365 uh, e5 plan where uh, you just uh, go and uh, make a free trial for 30 or 60 days and uh, do whatever you want and practice that thing so uh, here you can see uh, you uh, we have a cloud application security uh, you can see that uh, you have many things in here like if i just uh, click on the cloud application security so here you can see that uh, you have a different type of applications uh, running in your environment in, in your environment so first of all i'll tell you that uh, these uh, are some type of application which has been uh, just uh, open in your environment so first of all, uh, the uh, the maximum thing which actually open in, in your environment, you can see that uh, here uh, we have a box application. Here uh, we have a Microsoft Exchange application online, uh, Office is five and something like that. This type of application. If if I just click on it, uh, you can just uh, see the better visibility of that thing. Like uh, you have uh, what type of total active user. Uh, who just opened that thing? Uh, what? Uh, how many IPs engaged to open that file or application? And total traffic uh, where uh, it has been opened, and what type of transaction and how many transactions you see in that thing? So here you can see that the total traffic, the uh, the statics of the total traffic, active source IPs, transactions, uh, how many downloads uh, being included. Uh, how many upload had, uh, has been included in that thing so everything just seen here you can see that so if i just uh, go to the back thing uh, here you you can see that you will have the disk uh, level you can see so if i just uh, click on this uh, you can see that how many application related to the collaboration is, has been used in your environment so you can see everything in that thing so if i just go and see whole application like if um, if i say that i don't have application right now so uh, there is no statics uh, being able to hear and uh, here you can see the discover application you can uh, see everything whatever you want uh, how many application has been used in your environment you can see everything and uh, it has been done from the uh, it uh, the actually background of this thing is to uh, upload the firewall uh, logs into the uh, cloud application security like uh, if i say i click on it i have a i have a, a different thing uh, here and these has been uh, uh, from uh, came from the uh, logs uh, in your environment like uh, you uh, you will have the organization and 
obviously your organization have the firewall so you just uh, put that log uh, into the cloud application security where you will have the full visibility how many application has been opened from the users and uh, what type of application has been opened from the users so you can do everything uh, in the uh, cloud application security so here uh, you will have the office 65 e5 plan uh, you will uh, see that thing in the office 5 plan you will see that uh, you can have the visibility to the security as your uh, 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 microsoft intune if i click in uh, on this so i will have the uh, azure infrastructure where uh, you can just control the application like if as a, i have a um, something like uh, enterprise application so if i click on it uh, so you can see everything uh, running in your environment what type of application you run in your environment you can see you can uh, just put the condition access like if i uh, if i say uh, the trusted app the trusted ip will be uh, allowed to open uh, microsoft uh, exchange so no one uh, from uh, except the uh, the trusted ip will come and open the office 5 yeah, exchange online so if i say uh, i have a uh, something like that so what type of uh, cloud application you uh, you need to protect so all cloud application none select any application and this from selection you will just select the application from your environment so you can do everything like uh, in your environment and whatever you your thing is doing to so here you can see everything is coming and every application has come here so you can protect everything and you can put just uh, condition access on that thing so you can do everything so uh, here is the uh, here's some uh, basic introduction of the microsoft cloud application and uh, the microsoft uh, enterprise mobility suit so if you have any question you can uh, just uh, write down or just ask me here Do we have any questions for Sayed? If you have, yes, you could either put it on the chat or you could either unmute yourself and start asking the questions. Yeah, I will share the uh, PowerPoint with you guys. Yeah, yes, he says.